Hello everyone. Welcome back to another video on AWS Glue. In this video, we are going to create an AWS Glue job to read the data from S3 and transform the data using a PySpark script and write the data back to uh, S3 in a Parque format. Okay, so we are going to create this job using a PySpark script that we will write. Okay, so uh, before we start, uh, let's take a look at our source data. So I have uploaded my source data into this uh, bucket and I've created a folder called landing zone and uh, so this is the customers.csv file that I have Okay, so this is our input. So we are going to read this input using uh, our glue PySpark script and then we are going to do some transformation and then we are going to uh, Write the data back to this folder called transform zone in a parquet format. Okay So uh, to perform this you need two things. So one is uh, the source data and the second thing is we will need an IAM role. Uh, I have created a AWS uh, Glue service role and I have added these permissions. Okay, so you can create an IAM role, Glue service role and add these uh, permissions. So I have given S3 full access and uh, AWS Glue console full access and Cloud lo CloudWatch logs full access. Okay, so these access should be sufficient for this uh, demonstration. Okay, so with these two things in place, uh, let's get started. So let's go to glue console and if you click on ETL jobs It will show us like various ways in which you can uh, create ETL jobs. There is visual ETL uh, Which I have demonstrated in my previous video. I'm going to link that video if you want to check it out and uh, you can also develop uh, interactively using a notebook or you can uh, uh, I mean create a glue job using your uh, script. So we are going to use this option and create a PySpark uh, job So click on script editor and the engine that we are going to select is spark So if you don't need spark, you can just uh, select Python shell as well So we are going to use spark here and uh, we are going to write a PySpark code for this Okay, so this is the engine I'm going to select and uh, we'll start fresh So we'll start creating the script in the console itself. Okay, so let's click on create script Okay so it generates some sample script over here okay so i already have the code ready for my use case which is reading the data from this s3 bucket and uh, we'll uh, do some basic transformations like dropping a field and then write the bad data back into s3 using in parquet format okay so this is the code that i have for this so i'm just importing some uh, required modules and then i'm creating a spark context uh, object Okay, and then I'm initializing spark. So these are all this will be common in any glue job So this is one thing so you can initialize Arguments in your glue job. I'm going to show you so if you have any parameters that you're passing you can initialize them in your glue job And uh, you can read it like this. I'm going to show I'm going to show you how to uh, initialize these variables Okay, and uh, once you have initialized all these variables uh, the next thing is uh, we need to read the data using spark dot read uh, dot csv and input path and then we are going to drop a field and then write the data uh, to this output path in parquet format okay so it's a very simple PySpark uh, code you can have uh, any transformations that you might have for your use case over here so you can go through the PySpark documentation to get the required methods for your transformations okay so let's take the script and paste it in glue okay and now the next thing that we are going to do is we need to initialize these variables in glue. Okay, first let me save this. Let's call this PySpark demo job. Okay, save it. Okay, I think we need to, yep. So it is asking to choose an IAM role. We'll select this glue service role that we had created. Okay. And then type is spark and then glue version language will be by python 3 so this worker no worker type will select g1x which is a minimum okay uh, automatically scale the number of workers we will not enable this for now uh, i mean you can select that if you want okay number of workers we'll leave it as 10 okay and all these things we will leave it as default okay so this should be sufficient let me just see what other things are there over here i think let's leave all these as empty so you can also add uh, if you have any uh, library dependencies which do not come in built with python you can add those libraries uh, in path and add that uh, library path over here okay so here let's add a parameter 
okay so over here uh, we need to pass in this format so let's give the parameters here so if you see we have three parameters job name job name is inbuilt so we don't need to pass that so s3 input path okay let's that over here s3 input path and the value for that is going to be this path okay so i'm going to let me select this s3 uri so i want to read this entire thing so let me paste that over here okay so i think this should be fine uh, and let's add another parameter s3 output path and the value for that is going to be transform zone and let's add a customers in the end as well customers folder okay and actually in i think we need to take this folder my bad the for input so yep and yeah, i think we need to add another so column to drop so let's drop this column called email okay should be good here let's save this so we are passing this three parameters to the job and if you see in the script we are reading those and uh, we are using those parameters in the code okay so I think we should be good here so let's save the job and run it and see here if you want to monitor you can go to runs here and it takes some few seconds to start up so let's wait for that and uh, Wait for the job to finish okay so it says uh, succeeded so i think the job uh, and fine so if you want to see the logs for the job you can click on this all logs so this takes you to the cloud watch to see the logs so that's an easy way to uh, you know see the logs and debug your code okay so it looks like i mean it has run fine so we'll go here and check our output in the transform zone Okay, so there is a customer's photo created over here and we have a parquet file here. Okay, so let's quickly verify if that email field is actually dropped. So select this file and go to actions. So S3 provides this cool feature where you can just preview your data over here in the console. So let me just select JSON over here and run SQL. So it's basically it's like running a SQL query on your S3 uh, data. So here if you see we don't see that email field which was there in the data and it has been dropped by the glue ETL job. Okay, so that's how you can use PySpark ETL job to transform your data which is in S3 and then write back the data to S3. You can of course have any transformation that you want on the data or you can perform joins and all those things. So yeah, but this was a very quick demonstration to show you how to use a PySpark uh, script to run on glue util uh, to transform your data which is sitting in s3 okay i hope you found the video helpful and uh, do let me know in the comments if you would like to see anything particular related to aws glue and i'll be glad to make that video thank you and i'll see you in the next video